Now I've got to point out something that I should have mentioned earlier. The pitch section is really called an oscillator, and an oscillator has two functions. First of all, it controls the pitch. All these controls are affecting the pitch. But these ones here are slightly affecting the tone, very coarse tone control, because it's to do with the wave shape. The first wave shape is a sawtooth, which sounds like a brass instrument. But if I switch that to a square wave, it's not a brass instrument anymore. It's more like a clarinet. And if I switch that to a pulse wave, it's more like an oboe. And I can thin out the oboe more English horn-like. So, but let's leave it here for a minute. Now let's mess around. First of all, this oboe. Let's not blow the oboe. Let's hit it. Attack. Zero. Let's not sustain it like a plucked instrument. Let's lengthen the decay so it pl plucks a little slower, like this. So with just a few changes you go from an oboe to a banjo type effect. Let's lengthen the decay a bit more. More like a guitar sound. Let's take it down two octaves. Straight to the pitch section. A bit less effect of uh, envelope on the filter. You start to get bass guitar sounds and so on. Now let's be interesting. Let's put the effect back in it. And I'll go back to the sawtooth wave. Like this. All the wave shapes actually have three variations. For example, this one. This one. A bit rounder. This one's got a bit more growl. I quite like that one. Also, the filter has two slopes, which basically means one sounds more acoustic than the other. I'm going for the electronic one. Now some of the beauty of the Gaia. The Gaia actually has three of all of these. You've got three tones here, which you can select from. So if I wanted to create another tone, the easiest way to do it is just to copy, tone copy, from this one to this one. Magically. It sounds twice as loud. Let's detune the second one. Notice the second one is highlighted, so that's the one I'm editing. Now let's do something the old synthesizers couldn't do. Let's take that one and pan it to the right. And go back to the first tone and pan that to the left. You get a nice stereo detuned effect. Very analog sounding instrument. Now let's copy from one to three. So now the left side is too loud, so I'll pan that back to the middle. And I'm going to choose a wave shape that Roland called Super Sawtooth, like this. And you get this very, very warm sound. I pointed out the reverb before, in fact I just mentioned it, I didn't point out that it's a whole effects section over here, so that I can add five effects at once. Let's add a delay. Let's add a panning delay. And then tempo sync it. But I would like it slower. Maybe add some flanging. Or a phaser or a pitch shifter. And in fact, I've got dedicated controls here that control all of the effects. So for example, I can turn the, the resonance down on the flanger, making a chorus. Let's turn this down a fraction because I'm about to add some distortion. Now let's import a mendo. And once again, some of the beauty of the Gaia. If I hold down the portamento button, there's a little graphic here that says this is plus and minus, so I can change the timing. But if I look over here, the number buttons have suddenly become macros. It's saying I've got about 30% portamento. Let's put 50% on. Much too slow for me. I wanted about 20%.
remember all this came from this basic sound. So that's some basic analog synthesis. I hope you understood it. I hope it's fun.